This conference is being recorded. Hi, this is Robert Schuler. Hi, I'm Donna Schuler. We'd like to welcome you to Vital Living Monthly, previously called The Call. Exactly. <laughs> because it is the 15th of the month and it is 6 p.m. Pacific time. Exactly. So we've been doing this for uh, six years. We meet at this time. Um, yeah, on the we 15th started. Of did the we month. start in November? Yes, we're going on six years. Maybe seven wow. years. Actually, I have to look that up. I think wow. last year might have been six years. So um, we're coming to you from another location tonight, which is always fun. We're not in our home office. We're in our other office. So um, we have lots to get to tonight. Um, again, if you are on Facebook, we welcome you. If you prefer calling in, all you need to do is dial 641-715-3865. And then you need a code for access, which is 642848 and the pound sign. And then that way, if you're if you're on the call, on the conference line that is, then when we get to a point in our little service here where we take questions, you can just uh, click on the star six to ask questions and we'll be announcing that again. And if you're on Facebook, we actually can see the screen right there and we can see people when they pop up and we can say hi. Linnell and Debbie yeah. that we can see that have identified that have themselves. Popped up, exactly. A lot of you people like to stay silent and that's okay too. Yeah. We're just perfectly here. fine. We're here to talk right now. So yeah. we're here, we're so glad to be with you. This is one of our favorite times of the month. And as you heard already, we rebranded everything in our ministry is now called Vital Living. So we have Vital Living uh, daily, which are yep. our devotionals, our blogs, and our podcast. And I think I am I forgetting something? No, or daily, da daily, vital living daily, vital living weekly. No, and but I'm no, but I'm saying in the daily we have our memes, oh, our yes, blog, yes. our podcast, and our devotional video. Four devotional things. Da <laughs> so we're daily. putting out some material That's for you. Daily. I hope you appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Then we have weekly and vital living. Weekly is the Sunday service, so it's a vital living Sunday. That could be interchange that word uh, vital living Sunday vital living monthly or weekly excuse me and this is vital living Monday which of course used to be the call we've already said that but this isn't vital living Monday, Monday. even though it is Monday oh I'm sorry I, <laughs> I meant to say monthly <laughs> well that's why we're that's why I'm sharing with you exactly you know, so that happens that. that happens those so. things definitely yeah. can happen so most of the times we have a guest tonight we don't have a guest it's just going to be Robert and I speaking for about 30 minutes and like I said we'll take your questions but we have some things to go over just to kind of update you and Robert's messages this month have been uh, from the book of Job and well, anyway it's just it's a and a very interesting mysterious book to study so we can kind of talk a little bit about the book of Job and, and some of the, you know, some of the ahas that people can have if they read through that. In fact, it's probably a good idea if you haven't, even if you've read through the whole book, to start reading the book of Job. And that way on Sunday mornings, when Robert's delivering his messages, he'll be, we've already done two weeks, so we have two more to go in October, all on Job. You'll, you know, you'll be able to read, relate a little bit more. Well, one of the things we're doing on our Sunday worship Sunday morning vital livings is, or I should say vital living weeklies, uh, is is we're having interviews of different people. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to be right. inter interviewed, like to contribute something. Oh, you're, yeah, you I have this on your, on your no, list of great. things to Perfect. do. No, it's great. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I know we put them together. We usually choose three or four people and then add that. And uh, I know this past week, if you had, didn't get a chance to see it, you might want to take a look at it. There's a little child in that one. It's really cute. I like kids, and uh -huh. so whenever yeah. there's kids involved, I like it. Well, it's kids and dogs, what yeah. can I say? So here's the thing. If you want to answer our question, we have a different question every week, which, like Robert said, we can only choose two or three people, but you'll, your 20, 30 seconds of fame will be on Facebook with Robert and I for Sunday morning, uh, Vital Living. And it's really great to get the um, answers from children. We don't need to uh -huh. always be so serious. You know, kids speak so honestly, yet... It makes it just adds an element of innocence to the program and, and the Sunday service, and I, I I think it's good. So if any of you have children you'd like to suggest, just let us know, email us, and we want to send you the link. So we just have well, a, it's so easy. There's an app, a program. We just text it or email it to you. You honestly, and you have to answer from a cell phone, 
So we have to text it to them. They, it's not on Facebook. No, you cannot do it. They don't have the, uh, technology, the technology with this particular that, yeah. app Perfect. to have it on laptop on any kind of a, a computer okay. desktop. So you have to answer from your. But it's so easy. Honestly, all you do is hit this little reply button. You hold your camera and you go, "Yes, my idea of a good person is." That was our first question uh, this month. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, and you just. You just talk, and you talk for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever, whatever you feel like. Yeah. So there's something going on there. I, I don't know what that is. Does somebody need to be muted? Yeah, there yeah, you go. that's interesting. Anyway. Oh, interesting. So Somebody was talking on there, and I don't know how. <laughs> hey, th this, this is live, and so we don't know what's going to happen or what happens. I know so why. Occasionally we have muted. some... So Everybody's so muted unusual now. Unusual I didn't have it on place. lecture mode. Lecture mode meets like professor mode. We've got to get into professor well, gear here. <laughs> well, well, well. one of the things I like to do whenever we gather together, and we, we've got a bunch of people here now with us and, and joining us together, and, and they're from around the world. And so I love to pray, and I believe that when people come together from around the world and pray, miracles happen. And um, that's one of the reasons we have our pray.com community and uh, we'll talk about <clears throat> we can talk about that but first I want to have a prayer and then after our prayer I'll let Donna talk to you about our uh, pray.com community dear Heavenly Father I thank you so much for this opportunity that we have to be able to gather together around the world uh, we are here emotionally spiritually and we are connected through this medium called Facebook and through the telephone and so as we have gathered together in one, in one spirit and mind, we lift up our voices to you, knowing that you are the God who created everything there is. There is nothing you don't know. There is nothing you cannot do. There is that everything is minuscule compared to you. You are before anything ever was, and you'll be after everything ceases to exist. You are the Alpha and the Omega. And so we come and we pray to you, our God, our Lord and our Father. And in our prayers we come with and we ask you for the, the trials and the challenges that so many people around the world are facing right now. We pray for those who have been devastated in Indonesia from the from the earthquake and the and the immediate tsunami. We pray for all those in the Gulf Coast who 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 are who are overcoming and 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 just devastated with the loss of everything and so we pray for all those who have gone through the hurricanes we pray for people around the world and around the, and and across the nation and in our own communities in our own homes who are feeling challenges of uh, of of financial stress uh, of the dealing with the loss of a loved one uh, struggling with uh, with with awareness, uh, with addictions. Uh, there's so much pain in this world, O oh Lord. And yet we know that through it all, it is a way for you to be able to prepare us and share with us and guide us and create within us a new spirit and a new hope and a new joy and a new perception and a new reality. And so as the God who continues to create and a good God who cares about your children. We just thank you, O oh Lord, for everything that's taking place across the world and in our own lives. But we know that when we can say thank you for everything, we have experienced healing, we've experienced wholeness, we've experienced maturity, we've experienced uh, refinement. And so we thank you, Lord, and we praise your name for everything good that you are doing. For there is so much good that we can't even begin to talk about it. The news carries the negative. And so when something negative happens, we all hear about that. Uh, but all the good. And today we look at all the good that's taking place throughout the Gulf Coast as people are coming together, helping their neighbors and rebuilding their homes and, and rebuilding their communities. And we pray for the, and we thank you, Lord, for the hospitals that have been built to be able to handle the illnesses that we face and for the, the different organizations that are there to help us through our financial struggles and everything else. For you truly are a good God who loves and cares in so many ways. And so we love you, Lord, and we praise your name always and forever. 
and to wherever you are, you can say it out loud with me right now. Amen. amen. And amen. Amen is is usually the, the concluding uh, word of a prayer, but it really means so be it. So be it. So be it. And so we can say it again and again. Amen. And there goes one amen on the screen as, yes. as someone has responded. I can't reach that far. I can't read it. Yeah, you, you can't read it? I can't, no, I can't uh, can write it. it. I can't write no, it. No, we can't get on there and write anything. <laughs> it's too far away from us. But. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, so we said we don't so, have a guest tonight, but we thought, so, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. So I said what you were going to do is tell everybody about our prayer. Okay, then we'll read the Bible after community. that. Yep, you okay, bet. perfect. Yeah, we're going to, it's well, all going to flow, baby. I do have a little, I do have a little list here. So we've already told you about our vital living method. Well, first of all, let me back up. So in the last three months, we have been through so much. We launched drshuler.org. That is our, we finally have... A big boy website after <laughs> eight nine years of putting this that and the other together so we have drshuler.org and if you go on there and that's where you can join it says join our community and our community once you click into that will take you to our prayer community we actually have an online prayer community today I was online praying for one person who is dealing with uh, severe addiction of her daughter and a lot of things that went that go with that a very serious situation uh, another person wrote in about a uh, severe health problems of family members and friends including the cancer uh, surgery um, we've been praying for um, the release of the Pakistanian woman uh, hot uh, little girl hostage we've been praying for the people that we know that are close to the devastation in the Florida Panhandle so if you want to be part of an online community and join us in praying for people we the people pray back and forth to each other whether or not we're on there or not this is about connecting people one to another maybe even you know today we were talking to somebody that knows a lot about addiction and I said go on there please pray for that person give that mother and father some hope like for so their child. join our prayer community right pray, you have to pull up on, on your cell phone add the app pray.com oh that's right I guess you can get it you're supposed to go in through our website though really but I guess that's okay, a way to can. get there yeah, might you as can, well. You can yes, you can definitely mm -hmm. do it through our website. Sorry, no, it's okay. But the other way is to just add a add a uh, pray dot com. It's an app, app to yeah. your cell phone, and then you have to search Robert Schuler Ministries. Yep. And it'll come up, and then you join the community. So uh, so there's two different ways to do it. Obviously, you can you can go through our uh, duck sh duck dot org uh, as well. So for those of you that may have just joined us, so one of the things we're doing with our Sunday morning, again, we have Vital Living, uh, Vital Living is the name of our ministry, Robert Schuler Ministries, Vital Living. We have Vital Living daily, weekly, and monthly. The weeklies are Sunday service. For our Sunday service, one of the things we've been doing, especially this month with the book of Job, we have a different question we asked all of you out there um, that has to do with whatever lesson Robert's on. The first question was, what is your idea of a good person? That was week one. Last week was, have you ever felt all alone? This coming week will be, have you ever felt silenced or disregarded, um, disrespected? I guess it's silence is what it is. Silence. Silence. Is um, so we have these questions. We'll be send we have to send them out like, before and get the answers back before Tuesday. And again, uh, if you if you're interested in this, please email us. I need your cell phone number so I can just send this to you because it's all included. You just click reply <laughs> to the question which is on there. This week it's my face asking the question. Doesn't matter whose it is. Doesn't go in Sunday morning. It's just to prompt you. I ask the question. You answer it on your cell phone by honestly just clicking this blue button, holding your cell phone up, and saying blah 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 short is sweet and then when you're done it says finish send and then you send it to me and then we look at them we pick about three like robert said last week we had our little one of our grandsons was on actually, yeah well, i didn't old. say that didn't i say said it was just a he's child. so cute he was in the Old beginning child. and the end but um so anyway we really want to encourage you to do that because you can take part in the sunday service which is 
it makes it so much real because we're asking questions that have to do with the sermon and we get real heartfelt things that people are sharing with us. Um, the next thing, um, uh, please go to our YouTube channel because everything we do every day of the week is on our YouTube channel with the exception of the podcast. That's on a podcast, but that's a whole other thing which is even easier because you go to iTunes or Google Play and it's all over every platform, our podcast now, which is daily. But go to Robert Schuler Ministries and please subscribe. And then once you do that, you have to click alerts because if you don't click alerts, you won't know when they're posted. So you, you don't have and, to be and so... And we post something every, every day. day. As and far they're as short. Our videos. Our videos. They're teeny little videos. They're a minute and a half long. They're. The, yeah. I say they're 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 short but powerful. Some are as some are as, as short as a minute, and some yeah. are as long as two. I don't think there's anything after two, but they average about a minute and a half. So it's a nice nice. It line. is. It is. Yeah. So um, I guess that's really what I wanted to say. And just keep sharing and sharing sharing on our Facebook page. Google. You know, we. I think we mentioned before we had a Google. We have a Google grant. And it just means if we get people interested in sharing all this stuff, Google will be really happy with us and they will keep our grant money. It's not money, it's actually credit towards advertising words, which is a big deal because we're trying to grow our global ministry bigger and bigger and bigger because there's so many people that need it that won't go to church. They don't step well, foot in church. Well, what it is is felt need evangelism. Yes. So when somebody feels a need, what they do is they simply search in the Google, in, in Google, a search. You can search anything in Google. Mm -hmm. And when they do, if we, if we have that particular need, it comes forth. And we have an opportunity to, to share one of our devotions with them or one of, one of the blogs or one of the messages, something to come forth that will hopefully present to them a message of the reality of God that will open their eyes and they can have a paradigm shift right. that will change their life and suddenly they can find the hope and the, and the renewal of spirit that is so necessary in the world today because we, we've talked about this in the past, the seriousness of suicide, uh, of addiction, uh, of, uh, and the addiction comes in a hundred different ways. Um, uh, just uh, so anyway. Yeah, and people are googling these things all by themselves in the loneliness. All the time. In their loneliness of a dark room, of a of feeling just left alone, of feeling abandoned, of feeling dark and without hope, and they sit on a computer and say, you know, what can I do? I'm going through a divorce, and so this this is what Google AdWords the grant is for. It helps us with these particular subjects we write about, we make videos about, Robert preaches about. It helps us reach those people in the middle of the night, and that's where the felt needs evangelism uh, comes in. It's sort of a new thing that um, that is is happening. Well, it's it's happening, and we're on the cutting edge. And uh, it's revolutionary, and it's it, it, it's what television was in the 50s, mm -hmm. is where we are today. And so this ministry is reaching the needs of people in ways that you can't imagine. And so I, I just hope you can find it in your heart to support this ministry, because we seriously need your support. We. <laughs> We're working 10 hour days every day. We're putting out all these videos. It's not inexpensive, it's expensive. And quite frankly, we're running out of money and we need the help and we need the support. So anything you can do to help us will be extremely helpful in reaching the needs of people. We're, we're going out on a limb, doing everything we can to make this possible. And with the realization that, that God is bigger than anything we can imagine, that if we're doing what we know that God has called us to do, which is what we are doing right now, we're doing what God has called us to do, He will pave the way and make it happen. And so we're operating in faith, knowing that uh, God will provide. He always has. Which kind of leads us, well, it's more than kind of <laughs> leads us <laughs> to the Bible lesson. <laughs> to, to our Bible lesson today, because in, in Job chapter 38, is where God finally responds to Job. Let me let me explain a little bit. Let me give you a little history of what's going on here. Job 
Job is being tested. God allows Satan to test Job. And he, God says, in all the world, there is no one who is better than Job. Job is the finest man alive. And Satan goes, well, of course he is. I mean, look at there. He's got a thousand cattle. He's got all his wealth. He's all his possession. He has um, seven daughters. He has four sons, or it's the other way around. He has a bunch of kids. He, the, the list goes on and on of everything he has. Well... God allows Satan to take all these things away because Satan says to God, of course he, he listens to you because, because, because you have given him so much, but take those things away and see if he won't curse you. And of course at the end Job goes, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. But if that's not enough, then Satan comes back to God and says, yeah, but he still has his health. Take his health away and see what happens. So God allows Satan to take his health away, his children, everything. And in this pain, his, he's, he is in agony, he's in ashes, he's, he's lost everything. And, and his friends come to him and they start debating and they say, well, surely he's done something wrong to deserve this punishment from God. Otherwise, God wouldn't allow this to happen. And... Um, and so there's several there's a several chapters of discourse about that, and then another one comes along, and hits the nail on the head. It recognizes that there was a, a flaw in the heart of of Job, in that Job was be, was prideful, didn't have enough, um, wasn't humble enough, and as a result of that was was seeking something from God and and was telling God just give me a chance to to question to, to tell you everything <laughs> and with that God has a response for Job well Job let me tell you and uh, I'm going to use my reading glasses here which I usually don't need to do but this is extremely small print and it's kind of dark in here and I've got the lights in my face so you'll have to excuse me he says, who is, who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorant... Have, boy, I'm trying to read this here. Who is, it, who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorant words? Brace yourself like a man because I have some questions for you and you must answer them, God says to Job. Where were you? when I laid the foundations of the earth. Tell me, if you know so much, who determined its dimension and stretched out the surveying lines? What supports its foundations? Who laid its cornerstone? At the morning stars sang together and all the angels sounded for joy. Who kept the seas inside its boundary and its, and its burst from the womb? And he goes on and on talking about have you made daylight spread the earth of spread to the ends of the earth? Have you allowed light disperse to, um, the light disturbs the wicked and stops the arm of and he goes on and on talking about the magnitude of everything he has done throughout the world and in the earth and that's his response to job job listen to me you don't understand what I've done for you. What I've done for you by allowing these things to happen to you is I have refined your spirit so that the pride that was in you is now taken out from you and you have been made even a better person because of what I have allowed Satan to do to you. And in the end Job receives all of his bounty and his goodness again. This book is just an amazing book, the book of Job, which we find in the middle of the Old Testament. It's, it's, it's in what we call the wisdom literature, which would include Psalms and Song of Solomons and, and the Ecclesiastes and the Proverbs. And within here we get this wisdom of the, of the understanding of who God is. Clearly, the sovereignty of God is one that we 
we in our agony and our pain we we say why but the truth is we know why Be- not because God wants to punish us but because God wants to purify us I was sharing with Donna this past week in fact about purgatory mm-hmm. and and do you remember what I said about purgatory I said purgatory is a mm-hmm. is not part of reformed theology it's not part of Protestant theology it is a part of Catholic theology, and Dante's Inferno is one of the one of, is known as one of the greatest poems of all time. And in that poem, Dante takes Dante goes and he dis, and and he explains that 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 purgatory is the place where God takes uh, those who haven't completely refined themselves through pain and through through sorrow and through challenges and he takes and in purgatory is where we become purified so that when we enter heaven <laughs> we are we have become the people that we are intended by God to be and so when I look at it in such a fashion I see it as a as a beautiful uh, concept and a beautiful the- theological perspective um, and I just, it, it's just kind of interesting to, to be aware of. And so I share that with you. That this is what, what God is doing with Job on earth as opposed to in, in purgatory or in, or in the next life. So anyway, that's my, my little message for you tonight. And, um, or today or this morning, depending upon mm-hmm. what time you're watching this. Yeah, because exactly. Or because, when they watch it, because it'll they, be on there forever. <laughs> or where you are in the world. Right. If, if you happen to be in Africa, good morning. <laughs> and if you're on the if in the East Coast, it's good evening. And if you're in Hawaii, it's good afternoon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, we, we, it, I, that, that's neither here nor, here nor there. But... but uh, but that's my message for you, is to realize that God loves you. No matter what happens in your life, God isn't about punishing you. That's not his goal. His goal is like the loving father, to make you better, to, to give you discipline, which is not punishment. Discipline is not punishment. Discipline is the refining process of, of helping us become better. When we the, the whole idea of disciplining our children is is not to punish them. The the idea of disciplining our children is though that they learn that 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 behavior is not one that's acceptable and good and and right, and so they become better people. So uh, anyway, what do you what what else do you have for us tonight? Well, um, since we don't have a guest, I guess I just. Um you know, I like to I like to bring the sort of the the humanity emotional side to to what your theological discussion was on Job, and I don't. Know, I guess one of the things I can ask you is what. So this Sunday, which is only well, we're six days away now. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your what's your message? You remember what the title is and what part of Job? Will, because most of us know that you know the Lord gives, the Lord takes away. We know the story about Job and the. Uh, he well, loses be, his finances, and then he loses his health, and then, and then we know that the, the devil was involved here, and like he always is in all bad things. <laughs> I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be expanding upon this whole concept that I share tonight. I'll just be sharing okay. more. Okay. Yeah. On, on the fact that that God uh, allows that, us to go through things, but He yeah. doesn't punish us, and yeah, yeah I think that's God an, is good. I think that's an important thing to remember. That's the because, God is good because it's easy for people that are living in you know doubt and shame and sadness and darkness to think, okay, I just heard that story about Job, and then Pastor Schuler said, but he did do something. He was prideful. Okay, well there you go. God did punish. So. You know, I don't know, and I know we're talking the God of the Old Testament versus the God of the Jesus of the New Testament, which is right. We're definitely talking so, about the the God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. Yeah, right. We have our, our God never changes. No, nope. He is truth. Right. Truth is truth always prevails. It is what it is. It truth is 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 reality, and God is 
what he he is the same when he created the earth. He will be the same when when everything we know comes no longer exists. That's the reality of God. In that course of that time, uh, his desire is to bring us closer to him, and he will do whatever it takes to br to create that relationship with us. And the beautiful thing about knowing Jesus. And that part of the triune nature of God, which has always existed. In the, in the beginning, the, it, the, the Bible talks about Elohim, the, which is im. Anytime you read im in, in Hebrew, it is plural. So God is always the, the plurality of God. And therefore, the plurality of God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have this triune nature. And... And I don't think we have time to really no. talk about the Trinity, but this triune nature, again, God has always been. The, the Old Testament God and the New Testament God is the same God. It's our perception of him which, is, which changes. And what we realize when, through Jesus is that God wants to have a relationship with us, and our relationship with God is not based upon what we can do, mm -hmm. but it's based upon who we 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 accept into our hearts and having a relationship with Jesus uh, religion is man's way to get to know God and Jesus is God's way to get to know us uh, I've, I'm going to continue to nail that down and say it again and again and again I like that because it's so important for us to be able to hear that message well, we have to remember it we can hear it over and over it never gets old because it, it doesn't. it's hard to remember because you know our, yeah. our humanness like I said I was answering prayer requests today and it's just like you know people feel bad about their lives and about what they're going through and you know we we serve a lot of people that do follow Jesus and we also you know interact with a lot of people who don't and so we have to be aware of that and we have to be really sensitive to that so anyway, thank you I always like you reminding me um, <laughs> I would like to take some questions and then you know we'll be kind of wrapping it up we'll talk a little bit more about um, yeah if you, have a, if you have a question on Facebook you can type it in and I can, can read it, it here I can actually see it I can see the comments that you're that you've been writing or um, you have a uh, question uh, you can on here on uh, the conference call just uh, you click star six and then and I'm going to turn the cue on you're going to hear something funny. Q&A session started. started. There we go Q&A session. She sessions. always talks like that I can't yeah. shut her up. So <laughs> if there's so if there's anyone on our call who wants a question they can call yes. in and if there's anybody in our our Facebook yeah. they can they can ask a question. I don't see a question but, yet. Um, and if you asked it earlier it's already scrolled past so ask it again if you've asked a uh, question and you want to ask another one just type it in again please and we'll look so, at it. There, it's down here in the corner that's yeah. why we keep looking down there. Yeah we do we look over there in the corner and then we look back <laughs> on the camera and all that stuff. All around but, but um well, while we wait to see if anybody has a question, I just want to say a little bit more about what the, the man, we found an amazing partner to help us. We needed help, you know, with uh, these videos, obviously, to put out a daily, a meme. Does everybody know what a meme is? It's that poster page that's either a Bible verse or one of Robert's slogans from one of his many books, and with the little Robert Schuler Ministries logo at the bottom. Every single day, one of those, every single day, I write a blog about a real problem. Every single day Robert does a short video. Every single day we post a podcast and then on Sunday we do a service. So basically we ha we got to a point where, you know, if you stay the same, you're basically dying. So we knew we had to take a step of faith and reach out and start doing more and more to grow our ministry. So we did that in faith. So um, because we had to bring on a partner to help us with all this, obviously the expenses have climbed, but our reach is growing. It's growing by leaps and bounds. And we know that we're doing this in faith because God wants us to do this. And um, gosh, if you could commit even $5 a week, $10 a week, $20 a week, 50 I mean, it'd be nice to know we're getting some support for this because yeah. our numbers are increasing, but frankly, so are our expenses and our. this is what we do. We don't have other jobs. This is, this is it. We're, we're pastors. He's the real pastor, and I'm a pastor's wife and also a pastor now, so we don't do anything else. 
This is it. This is it. It's because God so. called us to do this. So if you can help us at all, that would be amazing. Oh, somebody's saying, how's the weather in California? We can't tell you. We're not in California. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I can tell you how the weather <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, we left there today. There's Santa Ana winds, which means they're 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 um, blowing Wind. from the... Yeah, they're they're blowing from the n opposite of the normal direction. So blowing off the desert. Yeah. The, so anyway, it's it creates uh, a lot of wind, and so it's windy, but it's clear skies and it's dry. And well, we I love them. A lot of people hate them. I love them. We, yeah, we like but, the, uh, the dry, the, hot the wind, but, winds. But, but uh, we left there, so now we're not so, there. <laughs> anyway, so well, that's that's how the weather is in California. Yeah. So uh, anything? With, another question? Yeah. I used to live in Riverside. Oh, okay. good. Glad so you to know hear what, that. You know what St. Anna winds are then, Glenn. Yeah, you yeah. know exactly what we're You've talking experienced about. that, and it gets real hot out there. So anyway, I'm going to have a closing prayer and a little benediction, unless there's something well, else going to say. Well, I wanted to say, if you'd like to give, you go to drshuler.org, and there's a place that says, I'd like to partner with this ministry, I'd like to give. Or on the Facebook, there's a uh, little... I think it says donate on Facebook. You can't mm -hmm. change that. It just donate, which is the same, but it means you'd like to give. And um, anything you can do, there's, you know, first of all, there's people out there that do give, and we want you to know how much we appreciate you. We could not do what we do without you. Absolutely could not. And like I already said, this is all we do. We don't do anything else. Um, I mean, we take care of our families and see our grandkids and that kind of thing, but we do ministry full time. And we don't have the security of four walls any longer, at least not for, for You mean right a church? Now. church <laughs> a church four. building. Yeah, yeah, we don't have a church building. We don't yeah. have a staff. We don't have uh, salaries. And we just need know that we need to get this work done. And so we're doing whatever we can. We're borrowing. We're selling some stuff. And we just know God wants us to We make it happen. We make it happen. Anyway, so, we can. And if you like old school uh, handwritten stuff, you can mail us something at 2128. Bay Point Drive, B A Y P O I N T E, Bay Point Drive, Newport Beach, 92660. That's our home and our office. It's our apartment and our office. Uh, and anything you can give is so appreciated. Just let me assure you. And it is used for God's kingdom. So, so with that, yes. let me give a closing prayer and a benediction. And, and so, O oh Lord, we thank you for everything that you send our way open our eyes and our hearts and our minds to receive them with a thankful heart to realize that as the creator of the heavens and the earth the creator of everything there is everything there ever will be and everything there ever has been that you know everything mm -hmm. that you know what we need even though it just seems the farthest thing from what we need when we go through tough times and so we give you thanks in all things and in all ways. In your son's name, we pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord grant you his peace. And you're lying down and you're rising up in your labor and in your leisure and your laughter and in your tears. Until you come to stand before Jesus in that day in which there is no sunset and no dawning. Amen. Amen. We'll see you on the 15th of November and we'll have a great guest. If it's the 15th, it's time for 6 Vital PM, yep, Vital Living 6 p.m. Pacific monthly. Time. <laughs> you know where we'll be. Yes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.